Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how a lab experiment mimics explosive black hole energy. In a huge breakthrough, physicists have created and exploded the first ever black hole bomb in a laboratory. This comes after it was first proposed by renowned physicist Roger Penrose over 50 years ago. He suggested in 1969 that energy could be pulled from a rotating black hole. The experiment is only a toy model, but scientists involved in it say that it works under the same physical laws as a real black hole. Penrose proposed that if energy were injected into the ergosphere, the area just outside a black hole's event horizon, particles could split. One fragment carrying negative energy could fall into the black hole, while the other could exit stealing some of the black hole's energy. The trick to obtain this result is that the black hole absorbs negative energy, which leads to a reduction in its mass energy, which translates into a decrease in its rotational speed. Jorge Pinochet, professor in the physics department of the Universidad Metropolitana de Ciencias de la Educación, wrote in a recent preprint paper. In other words, we have extracted rotational energy from the black hole. The black hole bomb builds on Penrose's theory, leading to an explosive event, albeit one that is controlled and safe. In 1971, Belarusian physicist Yakov Zeldovich proposed mimicking the real action of a black hole in a lab. He theorized that a rotating metal cylinder could amplify waves like a real black hole. When a wave hits a fast-spinning cylinder, it could get reflected back stronger and steal a little energy. He also proposed surrounding the cylinder with a mirror for a runaway feedback loop. This mirror setup would create a black hole bomb. Researchers at the University of Southampton, led by Hendrik Ulbricht and including Marion Kromb, have achieved what Zeldovich proposed. The scientists built a rotating system using a simple aluminium cylinder that was similar to a spinning black hole in space. They also made a three-phase magnetic field. It helped create conditions wherein the cylinder's rotation could amplify electromagnetic waves. They added an electromagnetic mirror around the cylinder, which triggered something extraordinary. The electromagnetic waves began to grow stronger and stronger, and the runaway growth replicated the scene near a real black hole bomb. We're basically generating a signal from noise, and that is the same thing that happens in the black hole bomb proposal, said Ulbricht. The creation of a black hole bomb on Earth will help scientists learn about the mysterious behavior of spinning black holes. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.